Good evening, it's Wednesday, May 6th of 2020, and either today or tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the full moon, outside it's amazing the moon. I wish I could show it to you, but then you couldn't see me. Yeah, that would be so cool. But you never know, you can still hear my voice, but it will be the point of filming. And Anyway, um, I'm going to share with you another poem from Dun Dun Dun, The Fifth Most Wanted Man, published by Malik. Press, there it is, Mary Press. Hey, Giuseppe Bartoli. Hey, who knew it? Anyway, this poem, today we're going to talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it seems that's a consensus for a lot of people. They're in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're born in the wrong century. They're born in the wrong time. They're just unlucky. You know, there's many ways of looking at the word or the situation that we're going through. Some call it destiny, divine plan, I don't know, fate, uh, being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Those are all very negative connotations. I think we're all we're, where we're supposed to be. We're here, we're right now. We're meant to be here. So get with the program. It's Things are not that bad. People got Some people are going, not that bad. I haven't been out for weeks. But you know, that's the, sorry about that whole little point. But you know, that's the least of your worries. It's not being able to go outside. It's remaining healthy, remaining, you know, when I talk health, I'm not talking just physical health. I'm talking mental health and spiritual health. Very important. Your emotional intelligence, that's worth to me a lot more than your intellectual coefficient or IQ. It's a different kind of intelligence. You're a poet, I'd rather have emotional intelligence but that's up to everyone i don't think you need, i think you need a blend let's be honest so today's poem is called uh living in bromley because i lived in bromley for a while and uh this poem is very interesting because i found a newspaper clipping at a local newspaper on the floor while waiting for the train to london and i was I picked it up and it said oh whoa no it's that kind of thing it was meant to be and um Apparently, uh, the last bomb of the Blitz fell in Orpington on the 27th of March of 1945, killing a housewife while she was working at home. So, this is the poem called Living at Bromley. I hope you enjoy it. Living in Bromley. I was walking down a road, thinking, could this be it? Could this be it? Because the Blitz died in Zone 6, when the final V2 rocket from Antwerp was tossed like a bridal bouquet. A merry woman from Orpington, cautiously dressed in her kitchen, was the unexpected recipient who caught the full force of a gift her marital status could not accept. So yep, here we go back to the whole idea of, well, you, maybe you were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, I mean, this was gonna happen regardless if you were here or not. Whether it was intentional, whether it was nature, or well, whatever, it happened. Let's stop focusing where it came from and with deal of it. Because too many people are trying to start World War Three here, which is what I think they're trying to do now in the States. Because if we go down the war of China, it's it's the end of the world as we know it. No need to sing the song. I know you're thinking about it, but okay, I won't sing, I promise. Um, it wouldn't be good. That would be a different kind of war. Um, yeah, I mean... One thing is this sort of commercial war of attrition where we got them to sign a treaty for two, for them to purchase 200 billion of our goods in the States. I think we, Latin America, the Americas, we're all the Americas, like on part of the U.S. Or the U.S. anyway. And then the Chinese uh, said, okay. And then we really hammered them with Huawei and they said, okay, I'll get you back for this. And some people claim this is how they're doing it by throwing a virus. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't help. So can we just move, turn the page, and just try to do the best we can and get back on our feet and recover our mental stability, our spiritual stability, and our emotional stability. Because that's what we need to do right now. So that's my advice to you. Work on yourself. If you're a poet and you're a writer, write about it. If you write, if you can't write about anything, write about that. Take the frustration out. May I share with you well, one of my poems about not being able to write sometimes. Because I'm at 56 poems in my new collection. We're getting there. It's called hashtag stay, stay at mine. That's the mine I'm working in duality. Anyway, take care. Stay at home and stay safe. See you tomorrow.